Dawn is back, you guys. And I don't know if I did a video on those nails. I don't think I did. But we're going to remove these with my two-time coarse carbide safety bit, of course. It removes everything with such ease. And here is pre-everything. I just removed the gel polish. She has no lifting, no missing nails. Everything is just perfectly perfect, perfect. I have some coffee brewing in the background. Let's do this, okay? I'm going to prep the natural nail with my fine grit carbide bit. This is a 180 grit. You're gonna put your drill on a low speed, keep your drills straight. We're all ready for application. You don't want to tilt the drill in because you don't want to cause any heat sensation or rings of fire, which is those red lines where you can tell each refill. So we're going to get my number 12 Kolinsky. We're going to press out those bubbles. Yes, that's right. Wipe off one side. Go into your powder with your wet side. Okay, tap, tap, hold is my method to get a perfect bead that doesn't drip off the brush, that doesn't tell me what to do, that doesn't run all over the place. So when I put this sticky bead on my perfectly dehydrated prep nail, it's going to retain. And Dawn is gonna come back with no lifting or no missing nails, okay? So we love this, we love it. I love the combination of the liquid and the powder. The tap tap hold method just works for me. And I hope it works for you if you tried it before too. So let's go ahead and apply the thumb too. You always want to get just a little bit more product for the thumb if it's because it's a bigger surface area than your fingers, usually. And if it's not, that's fine too, because all thumbs matter, okay? Nobody's thumbs are better than the next person's, you guys. We're just going to make sure the sidewalls are cleaned up. We're going to brush any excess right down to the free edge, which wasn't much. After that, new file as always. We're going to go ahead and file to shape. And I will also contour the nail. Going to put my equal in my coffee. Two little packs in my fancy little cup I got at Goodwill. We're going to contour the top, guys. Here's the inspo pick. Thank you to this nail artist for posting such beautiful nails for us all to be inspired by. We're gonna do orange, and I don't need to do a white first coat for this orange because I already know how pigmented it is, and I know that two coats is going to be plentiful. Let's go ahead and put the second coat on, and yes, I was in charge of the slow motion. I did that on purpose. So do you see how solid that goes on the second coat? Love it. Goes on like melted butter, you guys. I just love this gel polish. So we're gonna go ahead and add some swirls. And then here's the final look, you guys, don't blink.